<clears throat> All right, this is for you guys with the slow PSN downloads. Anyways, Let's see, yeah, that's me right there. All right, in the download management, I have got two downloads, both paused. And I'm gonna go ahead and resume this one. You'll see how much this actually drags. And yes, it is downloading very, very slowly. Maybe the number will even change a minute or two from now. There it goes. So you see how fast it's going right now. This is what a lot of the typical PSN users complain about. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and pause this again. And I am going to go over here to the network settings and make a quick little change. That's the change right there. Run a test, make sure everything works. And I'll show you the difference after all this goes through and you'll see what the difference in speed it makes running through the proxy on your PC instead. Alright, so now the internet and my PlayStation 3 will be running through the proxy on my computer. Same download. See it's paused. I'm going to do is go ahead and unpause it. Notice the difference? Yeah, it's not dragging anymore, is it? Keep in mind this is a Thursday, which is uh, notorious for being slow in the PSN with all the activity and the update every Thursday. So yeah, if you haven't figured out how to run a proxy on your PC yet, do it. <laughs> and uh, just to show you, it doesn't not just that file only. Fear 2 demo paused. Go ahead and resume. And watch the kilobits fly by. It's slow? No, not really. Not mind boggling any fast. But anyways, there you have it. PSN is actually not that slow. It's not your PlayStation 3, it's not the PSN servers. It's something in between them causing your issues. And if you do have a slow one, I suggest figuring out how to do the proxy on your PC. Personally, I'm using Privoxy from SourceForge.net. Try that one out.